What is up, guys? So, today we have quite an interesting story time. It's going to be about the time a kid took a fat dookie in the urinal. Now, if you're not old enough to know what a urinal is, click off the video. Um, but if you do, good. If you know, you know. Um, I'm joined with my friend TCF27, aka Tegan. Say hi. Hello. This is the second part of a collab we did on his channel. So, if you're from there, uh, say uh, TCF27 in, in the description. Comment that. Uh, like the video, please subscribe to me. I need more subscribers so my ego can grow bigger and bigger because, you know, my ego right now is not quite big enough. Um, anyways, let's get into the video. Oh, and as always, I'm sorry if there are any loud noises in the background. That's my brother smashing his face on his keyboard because he can't play Minecraft. And let's get into it. Okay, so where we left off on Tegan's channel, the teachers were threatening to get everyone's tool sample and test it and compare it with the tool sample they found in the urinal and try and find out who it is. Now, if that makes no sense to you, go watch Tegan's video on his- t the video on Tegan's channel, yeah, I can speak. Um, link in the description. You should go watch that first so you actually know what's going to happen. Okay, so now, uh, this poses a couple of problems. First, how would they get everyone's tool sample, right? Like, like that, that would be quite an awkward email home, you know? Please send your child in with a piece of poop to, to school, you know? I'm pretty sure some kids would just get their dogs. Like, Tegan, do you agree with that? Yeah. that I mean, if, if you had a dog, <laughs> but I, I don't know. That'd be a little, because a dog's poop is smaller. And, well, if you had a Rottweiler, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just months of dog poo in a bag. Oh no! That's gonna that that's that's gonna have so some bad. smells that yeah. that you would not want to smell. I don't think that one plastic baggie could keep all that out. So whatever. Like now, none of us. Some of I think like me and Tegan and some other kids like we called their bluff. Like we're like, hey, that's BS. Just because we knew that no way they're going to get that, but. I think some kids still genuinely thought that they would be able to get a tool sample from them because they collected all of it under the school because some kids still thought the teachers lived at school. Tegan, can you confirm that? Indeed. Yes. Kids are absolutely stupid. But anyway, so, like, first they did that, right? Now, the kids still didn't snitch because I think he kind of called out the cap. He was like, and how you gonna do that? Like, <laughs> that's kind of an awkward thing to ask. Now. No principal leaves, right? So, obviously, at, like, lunch and recess, there were rumors going around, right? So, the kid who pooped in the urinal, right? So, he was, he had one major flaw in his plan. He was the kind of person who did something stupid, but then also wanted credit for it. Now, if there's one thing I've learned in my life, right, it's that if you do something stupid... Don't try and get attention or credit for it because you're going to get caught and you're going to get in trouble, you know? Like, if you rob a bank, don't go on Snapchat flexing all the bank notes that you robbed, that you stole, and all the serial numbers on them because they're going to find you really fast. But if you do make do that, make sure you don't have geotagged locations on or else you're really screwed. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI will be knocking in about two minutes. But... Anyway, so lunchtime, blah 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 blah. Tegan, did you fig like hear about who it was at that lunchtime? Um, well, we all of us had a general idea of who it was because the kid Sean, he um, he he was the type of person to do this type of stuff. But like, we there was no evidence of him doing it. So in that lunchtime, rumors going around, people thought it was one person, but you know, the general populace of the school knew it was just one kid. So you know. We come back into the class, and next thing you know, that kid got busted, and Wyatt, you can take it, it away. It didn't happen that fast, though. There was definitely a second round of threatening yeah, but and drill sergeanting. So I, I think it was that, that the second part was a little less. I, I, I'm, I'm still going to get into it, because I still vaguely remember, yeah. <laughs> fondly you, remember you it. That, so, yeah. the next day, because I still haven't gotten this kid to crack, which, to be honest, for a third grader... He lasted pretty long. What? He lasted four days under the entire school trying to figure out who it was. Right? Like, I, yeah. I think he lasted fairly mm -hmm. long. I mean, not as long as he could have lasted, 
but he lasted long enough for him to kind of take a W, except what happens next, right? So all of a sudden the principal comes in, right? Now all like four or five of the school's janitors, yes, we had a very small school, they were all standing in the corner of this classroom, right? And they looked like they wanted to kill us. Like completely like they had a death note and our names were on it. <laughs> like like they they were giving us death stares, which to be fair, they were the ones who had to scoop the skid's crap out of a urinal and then have to live with themselves after that. And quite frankly, if anyone made me do that, I don't know about you, Tegan, but I'd hate their guts too. I mean, how do you even get it out of there? Like, I don't want to freaking shovel poop out of it. Disgusting. So, anything. Yeah, no, they're all here. Now, the principal, she puts another document under the document camera, right? So, this time it was a consequence sheet of sorts. Now, this looked very official. And as far as I can tell, it was the official one from the county, right? So, it basically says, like, all the bad things you could possibly do and what the according punishment level would be for it. And then what the punishment for each level is like they were and it see so I feel like it was mostly common sense, Stegan, do you agree with that? Like I mean, it was like you bring a knife to school, you get expelled. It was like, okay, yeah, that kinda yeah. makes sense. But then there was another half of it that just scared the crap out of everyone. I feel like they were pushing on us that like we did something that bad to get us expelled because I guarantee you no one looked at the stuff where you got, like, a single referral for and said, oh, that's not so bad in comparison to bringing in, you know, like, oh, there are 50 things you can do for a referral, but then only three you can do for the expulsion. Nah, nah, nah. T, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But we only saw the three things you could do to get expelled. And I'm pretty sure pooping under the toilet was one of them. <laughs> not under the toilet, pooping in a urinal. If not, he got, you would get suspended for, like, three days, right? So... Yeah. You know, the Sean kid's sitting here, I mean, kind of sweating a bit, but no one really yeah. notices, because we were all sweating pretty hard. Like, I mean, that, that, I still have nightmares about that. That was, I mean, a kid started crying, like, ooh. that was, like, drill sergeant level stuff, like, mm-mm. But so they still didn't get Sean to crack, right? Now, Sean... I I'm, I feel like he could only go so far, you know? But while this is all lecturing and whatnot, uh, the girls, right? They all get to sit in the other classroom having fun, you know? And that lecture felt like half an hour, but it was only like, what, five minutes, right? Yeah, it felt like an Right, eternity. so then another lunch period goes by and even more rumors are spreading about, like, the Sean kid, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to let Tegan tell the rest of the story, but at that point I feels like, I feels like, ah, yes, I can English. I feel like the kid was like, oh, no, I'm going to get caught either way. I might as well go clean, right? Because mm -hmm. something that the school systems tell you is that if you turn yourself in, the punishment will be less. Mm -hmm. Anyone who did anything bad and is thinking about turning themselves in, don't do that. The punishment's going to be the same unless you start beating someone up, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. if you turn yourself in or just lay low and then get caught the punishment's going to be the same you did the same thing they might like mm -hmm. take in consideration two percent they might be in some back of their mind oh well he did turn himself in and then they remember he shat in the urinal <laughs> yeah. like i mean it's not gonna go that well for you so tegan you tell the story of this guy turning himself in which is stupid you should never turn yourself in so i guess the, he privately told the teacher and I specifically remember he would be held back from recess for the next week. And every time we, everyone kind of like would look at him sitting at his desk, head down, wishing he didn't exist or talking to the teacher at, you know, the corner of the classroom about what his punishment's going to be. And, you know, you can kind of like sense that like, geez, I kind of feel bad for this kid. But then again, he did cause an entire grade breakout of just pain for everyone. So, yeah, the kid got in trouble. Um, I think he just got, you know, detention, which is basically just getting out of recess for a week or two. And um, I guess nothing really happened after it. I, you know, he didn't get a, use, or a nickname like you would think he would. And that is where the audio cut out from Discord. I don't know why it happened. The bot said there was an error. Um, 
it, it sucks, but basically what Tegan was going to say is that he never really ended up getting a nickname, although if I ever get in an argument with him, because we still go to the same school, at least I think we do, uh, I mean, we could always call him Urinal Face, or yeah, s some stupid insult that we make up, I mean, we can always do that, but like you said, nothing bad really happened, but there was one really annoying thing that this kid caused, like the pain and suffering of everyone else in the school for years and years to come. So we had to get like a bathroom sign-in sheet, right? So now that's not that bad. You think, oh, you just write your name and the date on the paper and you're done. Uh, no, 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 no. You need to get a signature from the teacher. Oh, and you also had to get the time. That was just annoying because the clocks were all super blurry and far away. Not blurry necessarily, but they just weren't easy to read. But first off, first off, if you took a pencil to do this, say bye-bye to that pencil. You're never seeing it again in your life. I promise you, if you leave it on that clipboard, it's gone. Like, never seeing it again. You might as well have a funeral for it now. It's gone. The second part that was even more annoying than your pencils always disappearing was that you had to get it signed from the teacher. Now, normally that's not that bad, but <laughs> you had to walk up to her in the middle of her lesson and say, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Can you sign here? Now, if she said fine, it's like, okay, you just get embarrassed in front of 20 kids that you've known forever. But if she says no, then you have to do this awkward walk back, place the clipboard back, maybe erase your name. If not, just cross it out. And bro, it's the most annoying thing ever. Now, I know might some of you might be saying, oh, well, that's just like a hall pass. The only difference with a hall pass is that you have to walk outside of the classroom. The bathrooms are still inside of the classroom. Um, that's probably going to do the story, guys. I mean, I might add something in later, but probably not going to because I'm lazy. Uh, that was my friend Tegan from TCF27. If for some reason you guys have not still subscribed to him and watched his video on this, do it. Links in the description. And if you're from his channel and watching this one, Please subscribe. I need, I I need uh, my ego to be boosted even more, as if it's not large enough. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for the video. See you in the next one. Peace.